So here we have the Universal Robots UR5 mounted to our uh, test stand that we just put together with some extruded aluminum from Parker. Worked out really well. It's very stout and we can uh, move that little overhang up and down and we can flip it over so we can mount the robot hanging upside down like it is here or standing up like it's on a pedestal or at a 45 degree angle or we can mount it on the vertical post so the robot can operate in all those different orientations and I'll go ahead and hit play here and the robot will move in a rectangular pattern above that table. The table's uh, about 30 inches by 60 inches. And this is kind of simulating maybe uh, spraying an adhesive on a rectangular part or maybe paint, something like that. And we're doing almost uh, full 30 by 60. And we could do a little bit more if we um, raise the tool end of the robot up farther up off the table so you use the length of the arm to reach horizontally more than vertically and also you can see we come pretty close to the post here in a minute as we come back on the right side so if that post wasn't in our way we could actually move farther to the right and cover a little bit more area that way too and of course there's a UR10 which has a 52 inch reach as opposed to this UR5 which has a about a 34 inch reach so you could get another 18 inches of reach so and it's about eight eight or nine waypoints programmed in took about uh, 15 or 20 minutes <laughs> 